Mikey Dorch, a man who drops off his computer at a repair shop instead ends up behind bars. Clarksville police arrested that man Tuesday after a computer tech discovers dozens of child pornography images on that computer. WLKY's Lauren Adams is live at the Clark County Jail with more on this. Lauren? Rick, 31 year old Rhett Adams was brought here, as you mentioned, early Tuesday morning. According to investigators, he had more than 150 images of little girls on his computer in folders labeled phone stuff. Now, according to the man that was looking through his computer trying to fix it, he says the images were simply too graphic to ignore. The store is called Wipe and Restore Computer Repair, but according to Clarksville Police, one customer failed to wipe off what was on his hard drive when he dropped off his computer last fall. It was owner Tom Van Cater that dealt with the man who brought in a laptop to repair a DC charging jack. I think we had to order a part or something, so the repair was going to take a few days. He offered a loaner computer, but the man refused. He did, however, call back a few days later, telling Van Cater he needed video he had shot of a tornado for a project he was working on. Van Cater was going through video and picture files when he came across something unsettling. It was young, naked girls in inappropriate situations, so. That's enough for me. I don't need to see more. Van Cater contacted police immediately. Clark County Prosecutor Jeremy Mull says police would uncover more than 100 pornographic images of children on the computer of 31 year old Rhett Adams. Some of the images did appear to be uh, much older photographs, uh, things that were taken maybe in other countries. Uh, things that he had simply obtained somehow on the internet. Mull says there's no telling how much longer the crime would have continued had it not been for Van Cater. Uh, we're simply uh, happy in this circumstance to have located this and, and hopefully put a stop uh, to the activity uh, in the situation and, and, uh, and uh, protect children to the best of our ability. Tom Van Cater, himself a father, says he didn't hesitate to call police. He did make a second phone call to Rhett Adams. That phone call, he says, went a little differently. I explained what I found and, and that I'd called the police, um, and he hung up. And while prosecutors did get this case back in February, Adams was only recently located and brought here to the jail. I can tell you, Rick Vicky, he has recently bonded out. He is set to go to court, make his first appearance there Friday at 10:30. Reporting live in Jeffersonville tonight, Lauren Adams, WLKY News. All right, thank you, Lauren. Here's more. Red Adams is now facing three counts of child exploitation. Police do not believe Adams was distributing any pornography. While the investigation is continuing, so far, 159 images have been recovered from the computer's hard.